The nonprofit organization that I chose for my presentation would be the BSA. Now, the BSA stands for the Boy Scouts of America, and the Boy Scouts of America was founded only after the World Scouting Movement had already started. Now, the World Scouting Movement was started in England in 1910 by a man named Lord Robert Baden Powell, who served in the, Boer, the Second Boer War as and obtained the rank of Lieutenant General in the British Army. He was also the author of a six-installment scouting manual known, in, known as, it was the first scout book, scout handbook, a uh, six-installment manual called Scouting for Boys, which later became the fourth best-selling book of the 20th century. There was 150 million copies sold. Him, he assisted his sister Agnes Baden Powell in founding the Girl Scouts, which is, well, play on um, uh, further down in the presentation so William D Boyce is the man who founded the Boy Scouts of America now he only founded it after a trip to uh, England London England left him so speechless and so impressed by the Boy Scouting program that he decided that America needed something for its youth just like it so he is an ex school teacher slash coal miner who uh, went on to become a millionaire in the early parts of the 20th century he also founded the Lone Scouts of America, which is for boys who lived in rural areas of the United States. Unfortunately, that didn't last because it merged with the Boy Scouts of America, um, which was the other organization that he founded. Um, now, the history of the BSA. It was founded in 1910, all right? It ended up merging with the majority of the other youth uh, leadership organizations at the time that basically monopolized the whole industry of youth leadership programs. Uh, Cub Scouts were made for younger boys so uh, they could start feeding into the, the troop or the, the Boy Scout program. Uh, and around the time scouting came to America, a uh, rival entrepreneur of, named William Randolph Hearst, uh, who was a rival of Boys, started the American Boy Scout, which would later be disbanded after much controversy over the militarism of the group, which left the BSA as the prominent um, uh, organization uh, for youth leadership. All right. Now, the, orth the organization, the BSA, they got their charter by con uh, from Congress in the 1910s, 1920s, and then they saw an exponential skyrocket uh, for youth join, like uh, youth uh, membership and adult leadership applications. Um, fast forward to past World War One, Scouts became a ceremonial part of the presidential inauguration ceremony, and serving as crowd control for Woodrow Wilson. They also assisted in uh, World War II and World War I by selling war bonds for to help uh, the war effort. And they ended up selling, I think for just World War II, about $350 million worth of war bonds, which is incredible. Uh, after World War II, the baby boomer generation provided the organization with a huge amount of scouts, so membership boomed. There was a lot of scouts in the 60s and 50s. Now, the Venture Program, or the Venture Scout Program, was made in the 1960s to attract an older audience, an older demographic of people. Uh, this is called Varsity Scouting. Now, they didn't have any prior experience of scouting before, uh, the, before uh, Venture Scouts. And so a subsection of the Venture Scouts includes a nautical program known as the Sea Scouts, which was open to both boys and girls. And this is huge because... Uh, Further on down the road, it was in 2018, I believe, that the National Council unanimously voted to allow girls join the actual program. So we'll get to that when we talk about current events of the program. So the 1970s saw extensive changes to the requirements the boys needed to complete in order to rank up, which was less outdoor skills. However, it was faced with a good deal of scrutiny and was later returned to its re original requirement list, which was okay, which is the one they use now. Um, now, a list of achievable ranks in the BSA. So in order to rank up, you need to complete those said requirements, which uh, include uh, knots and uh, wilderness survival and merit badges and leadership training. And so uh, the first half of the ranks are more outdoor skills and uh, uh, skill sets that you can use to assist other people and help and do a good turn daily, which is the, the scout motto or the scout slogan. And... Um, the back half is for leadership, and so the ranks go as follows. It's Scout, Tenderfoot, Second Class, First Class, Star, Life, and Eagle, and Eagle is the pinnacle. It's the highest rank you can get in scouting, and then um, everyone strives to be it, but only in 2018, only 6.49% of people actually made the rank of Eagle, which is insane because there are millions of scouts in the United States, and uh, yeah. So current events of the organization include uh, like any... Most of the things, it's pretty down low now because in 2020, earlier this year, uh, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which was um, not good at all. It's really bad. Uh, but they, uh, 
over the past 10 years, a lot of changes have been seen uh, because we have a very progressive new chief scout executive. And so on May 23rd, 2013, the National Council voted to allow openly homosexual boys to join the Boy Scouts, which is something that was kind of frowned upon before. And then, uh, t however, homosexual leadership is still prohibited because they had um, the Boy Scouts have an extensive history with uh, sexual assault scandals in their troops. So we'll get to that in a bit. The on October 11th, 2017, the BSA unanimously voted to let girls join uh, the all parts of the program, which means that now they can join all the venture programs and all of the normal programs as well. The only catch is they can't be in the same troop as boys, right? So they have to have their own all female troops. Um, on February 18th, 2020, uh, February 1st, we already went over that. February 1st, 2019, uh, uh, it wasn't until then that the girls were admitted into the program and the new troops were made. Uh, as we said before, February 18th, 2020, about a year later, national headquarters fired for, uh, filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy, which was a big deal because, uh, part of the reason for it was all of the lawsuits that people were having against people who, uh, sexually assaulted them when they were in their youth in the program. And because the perpetrator or the person who uh, did the assaulting uh, has since died or passed away or moved on and like they couldn't find them. They have sued the program and the program has taken a huge hit in both membership so they can't replenish the funds coming in and they can't um, keep on paying everyone. So uh, they filed for bankruptcy. However, local scouting, so each of the scouting councils in each state is still, they're doing fine. Um, it's just national. So... With that being said, we just covered uh, the founders of the Boy Scouts, the, a brief history of the Boy Scouts, and a couple current events of the organization. So thank you uh, for your time and have a great day.